Welcome to the parts video in our Quarter Go video series. In this video, we'll cover how to add both rotable and non rotable parts to existing discrepancies, view the bill of materials for the entire work order, and create batch requests for the part demands on the work order. To add a part to a discrepancy, simply click on the discrepancy tile, navigate to the parts in the consumables tab, and click the plus icon on the right hand side. In the Part Demands search window, Quarter will begin searching for parts that you enter in the search field as long as you have at least three characters. Once at least three characters are entered, Quarter will search both the part number and part description for any matches to your search. Once we've identified the part, we simply click on the part from the list, and Quarter will fill in the part number and part description. We must now identify the quantity and change it if it is different from the default of 1. Once we have made all the necessary changes, we can click Save, and this will create our part demand. Adding parts in Corridor Go will function just like in Corridor, and will have three different colors to let us know the progress of those parts. Red being the part demand, yellow being the part request or allocation from inventory, and green once the part is accepted, meaning that the technician has taken ownership of the part and brought it to the work order. Now with the part demand created, we can move on to the next step and check to see if we have a part in inventory, and if not, create a procurement request. The allocate from inventory option will be grayed out, and our cursor will change if there are no parts in inventory. If this is the case, we can go ahead and create a procurement request, and we can do so by clicking the button. This will open up our procurement request window, this will open the procurement request window, and we need to signify a need by date. This will let the purchasing agent know when they need to purchase the part and have it delivered to the work order. Once we click in the need date window, this will open up a calendar and we can signify the date for which we need this part. Any additional notes we want to pass on to the purchasing agent can be added in the notes section. If this is an AOG request, we can flag the AOG flag. Once we've entered all of the appropriate information, we can click the Create Request button to create our request. This will change our red dot to a yellow dot, signifying that we have made a request or allocated from inventory. Once a request has been created, the purchasing agent will receive the request, and will then proceed to create the purchase order, order the parts, and receive them into inventory. Once the part has been received into inventory, the technician can either pick up the part from the parts room, or have the parts delivered to them. Once they take ownership of the parts, they can click on the three dots to open up the part menu and accept the part. This will open up an accept part window, where the technician will need to select the lot. We can see that the accepted buy is automatically filled by the technician that's locked in, as well as the date of delivery. The technician will verify the lot, as well as the quantity, and then click save if everything is correct. This will change the color from yellow to green, indicating that we have completed the part process. While part demand and requests can be added at the task level, we can also access them through the Bill of Materials, where we can see all of the part demand and requests for the entire work order. To access the Bill of Materials view, we have to click the Work Order Number, which we can access from the Work Order tile. In the Bill of Materials view, we'll be able to see each discrepancy on the work order, as well as any parts that are added to that work order. To create a part demand in this Bill of Materials view, we have to find the appropriate discrepancy to which we would need to add the part. Navigate to the right hand side and click the Add Plus icon. This will open up the same part demand window that we saw on the discrepancy itself, and we can begin searching for the part we need to add. Before we click on the discrepancy, we notice that this is a rotable part. Once we select the part, we notice that we have an option to sell this on exchange or outright. If we sell on exchange, there will be a core exchange that happens, and we can identify the serial number of the core coming off of the aircraft in the serial number section. Once we finish adding the appropriate information, we can click Save to save our changes. 
Now that we have our part demand created, we can click the three dots to create our procurement request. However, if we scroll down, we can see we have additional demands on this work order. We can select one of the additional demands and the part demand we just created and click the batch procurement button on the top right hand corner. Now we can identify a need by date for both parts and click create requests to create part requests for both of them. We can see both dots are now yellow. If we have parts in inventory for a specific demand, we can go ahead and check the inventory. To do that, whenever we click the three dots for a part demand and our allocate from inventory option is available, we can go ahead and click that option. This will open an inventory screen and we're able to select a lot from inventory to allocate to this work order. To do so, we simply select the lot and click save. We can see our red dot is now a yellow dot. And if we click the three dots, we can accept the part once we go pick it up or have it delivered to us. The accept part window is the same as before. We select the lot, verify the quantity, and click save. This will turn the dot green and complete our process. Thank you for watching this parts video in our Corridor Go video series. In this video, we discussed how to add part demands for rotable and non rotable parts, create part requests for those part demands, viewing the bill of materials for the entire work order, and creating batch requests for existing demands. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.